Hey everybody, today is gonna to be a little bit different. I am having technical difficulties, so I'm just gonna run us through one round of today's set. It's the same 30 seconds on, 15 seconds transition. Um, you're gonna need a set of heavier weights and a set of lighter mid weights. Um, I'm using a band for my dead bugs. Um, take your time to warm up as you need, and um, we're gonna jump straight into it. Also take time to stretch at the end. Okay, so on that timer, as I said, we're just going to be going through one round, but I want you to hit another round. We are going to start with a chest press. After the chest press, we are going to go into jump squats for our cardio. And then after the jump squats, we're going to do a banded dead bug. Okay. So on the ground, like I said, if you haven't warmed up, please pause, warm up. And uh, I apologize for the quickened nature, um, but I want to get this out to you all. So just trying to get it. Get it done before I have to roll on. All right, so 30 seconds, chest press. Ready, set, and go. If you'd like, your hips can be up in the glute bridge. Elbows open up nice and wide. Press those hands right over the chest. This is day four, by the way. We're off to a raging start. Keep that breath work going. Flex deep into the belly. Hands are right over the elbows as the weights open wide. Good, work with your breath and time. All right, grab that 15 seconds, a little bit of a stretch, twist. Twist through that mid back. I'm gonna see if I can get one uh, jump squat per second. You get whatever you can. Knees line up your past toes. You've got it. Keep it going. Nice job. Okay, grab that band if you have it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can use a weight in your hands to add in a little bit of resistance or just go your regular dead bug. Get your time set up, your extension, and then pull everything together. This has uh, been the toughest set for me today. After the cardio, it's tough to keep that low back in the ground and keep the core flex in. Don't rush this one. Flex deep into that core and time. Okay, Ooh, our next exercise is a skull crusher. So same heavy weight, if you can, just one of them. I'm gonna push my hips back into that glute bridge. Elbows squeeze in tight and we're on. Make sure that you're keeping your neck out of it. And the handle, that dumbbell, comes right to your hairline. Squeeze those elbows in tight. Keep your neck relaxed. Strong core. Crushing it in our skull crusher. And time. Okay, coming up for those jump squats. Grab a quick little stretch. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. Remember this little set here, these 30 seconds. Already get the heart rate up. So, if you need to not jump as low, keep your range higher, that's better because we want to get that heart rate in. This is our high intensity little set right here. You got it. Time. All right, back to those bugs. Our next weighted set after this is an overhead delt pull. All right, extend and bring it back. Can you flex any deeper? 
Straight, straight, straight arms. <sighs> Keep repressing that low back into the ground. Flex deep into that belly. Ten. Whew. Okay. Get that heavier dumbbell ready. I'm using 25. And I have 12s on the ready. Set your shoulder blades in. Arms stay straight and your hips stay on the ground. Depending on how long you've been working with me, you know I love this little floor set chest, triceps, this is back. So it's a really good time to counter all the pushing. So we grab, and now we get that pull. Along with that pull, there's our time with our dead bugs. It's good. All right. If you can't guess, we're at jump squats. Three, two, and go. Land light, keep the belly strong. Perfect. Super effective at getting that heart rate up, but I don't know about you, jump squats are not the crazy beast that they used to be. So hopefully you're feeling that. Extend, <clears throat> bring it all together. You got it. Flex deep. Hold that split second, everything together. These are slow and controlled. And as the one leg extends, other one stays completely flexed. You're there. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna have tricep press. Grab your, have your dumbbells. <clears throat> Elbows squeeze tight. Ready, set, and go. Hips go up if you'd like. Keep wrists right on top of the elbows. See if you can get your hands over the shoulders at the top of the press. Where's the core? Tuck your tailbone back underneath towards your the backs of the knees. And time. Whew, okay, get those guys out of the way. Take a little squat, yogi squat, get a little stretch. Three, two, and jump squats. that core. Keep it going. Heart rate's coming up. Grab an extra breath. Deeper breath. Here and there. Okay. Back to your band. Three, two, and one. Next up with our weighted set is a chest fly. So you're gonna need your two slightly lighter weights. <clears throat> With a fly, your palms face, and you open your arms really wide. Oh yeah. If you'd like, Hips can go back up, 
So you have a slightly bent elbow at the top and then elbows open wide. Now, depending on the weight, okay, there's your go. Depending on the weight that you have, if it feels a little heavy, you can bend your elbow a little more when you're at your widest point. <clears throat> You've got it. Flex into the core. Feel that chest. A little more uh, bicep and shoulder with a fly. There's your time. All right. Jump squats. Back at it. Three, two, and go. Time. Ah, you're keeping one per second. Those are adding up. Okay, ready, set, go with that dead bug. Flex in deep, extend the one leg. This is the nuttiest part on the band. Getting it, <laughs> but it's worth it. Totally worth it. Find that extra level. Okay, you're gonna go back to the lighter set of dumbbells. <clears throat> and you're gonna do a tricep pullover. So we've done a tricep pullover press, but this time, elbows squeeze in, wrists are strong. Keep your elbows in a 90 degree angle. Rotate overhead and then back to the ground. Push that low back into the ground. Just rotate, bring them back. You're gonna feel that back set in a little more along with those triceps. Check in with your elbows. Squeeze your elbows toward one another. Okay, last set for the round of jump squats and dead bugs. Get this set. Ready, set, go. Got some range. Keep in that core, knees on the toes. Five seconds. Time. Okay, bring it down. Grab your band. Set that low back in. Extend. Bring everything together. Pull, pull, pull. Low back. Press as deep into the ground. See if you can grab more core. Time. Okay. You're back to your chest press. So reset the video if you want to do it again with me. Or just do your second set on your own. And uh, otherwise, if you just finished your second set, let's go into a quick little stretch. I'd recommend doing a little more. <coughs> so remember our focus right now, two servings of greens minimum per day. Or some sort of 
leafy vegetable. Are there other? Yeah, there's other colors of leaves. <laughs> Anything. Carrot tops, beet greens, collard greens, dandelion greens. Okay, drop onto your hips. Soles of the feet together, interlace your hands around your toes. Pull the chest up and then hinge over the legs. So, again, sorry about that, but life is all about working with it. It's better to not fight it. It is what it is. One day in the scope of time, which also goes with whatever your focus is right now with your health and fitness. Uh, you can look at it both ways, and, and we should look at it both ways. Each day uh, gives to us, each choice gives to us, uh, gives to our purpose and our goals, or kind of takes away from it, hinge over those legs. So everything adds up. We should give ourselves uh, leniency and forgiveness and grace, but just make sure that you're balancing that out overall with uh, more better choices. All right, you guys are awesome. Great work and I'll see you tomorrow.